Alan Clark Equestrian here. Um, but since the last time you saw me, I have been having an absolute blast riding Ella, Katrina and Halen. Um, yesterday I even competed Halen, so you can check out my Facebook page, my Twitter page and my Instagram to see just how well we did. Um, today I will be doing a haul, so before we get into things, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, now this haul is about all the stuff that I've bought over the summer and over the past year really with like my Christmas present my Christmas present money my birthday present money um, And money that I've actually earned myself through working So I'm really excited to show you just what I've bought because everybody that knows me knows that I am hard-pressed to part with my money Let's get into things now the first set I'm going to show you is arguably one of the ones I am most excited about. I literally, I'd worked a waitressing job the day before, had all my money and then mum thought it was such a good idea to take me to the tax shop the next day. Within 10 minutes of stepping inside that said tax shop, my money was gone. So this is the first thing I'm going to show you. It's an Anki Savile pad and it's navy blue and then when you shine the light on it, it shimmers gold and I am in love. Okay, like seriously in love, like drop jaw, wow. This is arguably one of my favorite things to have ever existed. Um, touching it, it's really soft to the touch. It feels like good quality, <laughs> I don't know. Um, inside, looks really nice and clean because it's not been used. Um, it doesn't have anything to fasten onto the saddle. Um, but I've had previous Anki saddle pads before and they've never shifted and they've gone really well and they've never irritated the horse or anything. So I do know that Halen will get on well with this and I've got a matching navy blue, navy blue pair of ears which is so cute and I think Halen will look dashing honestly. And one of my favourite colour combos is navy blue and gold because I think it just looks so elegant and beautiful that if you can't have bright colours, navy blue and gold is the way to go. I also got a matching navy blue and gold polo because it's summer and I've got so many long sleeve shirts and jackets and everything that I needed something light and breathable. Now this hasn't been worn yet either so I'm going to try this on and see what I think of the fabric and the quality once it's on. So this is my Anki navy blue and gold polo shirt. I am so in love with this. I think this one might be my favourite because it's so light and easy. Like. It's just perfect for in the summer when you're working hard because I feel like you just wouldn't get hot in it. Like, even though it covers up your shoulders, so there's no nasty sunburn across there. It's just, you'd still be able to keep cool. And this gold trim here is beautiful. And when you move, it just catches the light. And I just think it's just lovely. And, you, and we've got it on the back as well. See look there? And there's also, we just hold up to compare it just works really nicely. We can see that. And then if you look at the collar as well, when you leave a couple buttons undone, you've got this lovely bit of gold that peeks out there that really catches the eye. But you do wanna make sure that you keep it buttoned up quite a lot because it does end about there, which you want to keep your modesty covered there. <laughs> Now, I know I literally just said that we wanted short sleeve shirts because it's summer, but if it's breathable, there's a way. Um, this is my red Ariat shirt that I've like, recently just bought at Bolsworth International Horse Show when I was there with Equerry Horse Feeds. Um, it's really beautiful. I'm in love with this colour, just trying to get the light on it right. Don't mind the creases because I did and was a bit naughty and left it in the shopping bag but it is just so lovely. I'm gonna say it again, but I'm in love with this piece. Um, I'm gonna try it on to see what the material feels like once it's actually on, see if it's as breathable as, I, as it looks, um, and we'll see what happens. So this is my Aria long sleeve shirt. It's not quite as light as I thought it would be. Like it is quite a bit warmer than the others perhaps, but do you know, it's England, we're going to get those days where it's going to be a little bit colder than usual because, you know, that's England weather for you. Um, I love these little thumb bits that, have, that get your thumb to come out. I'm just, I'm obsessed with them. 
and I have to say the colour of this is just stunning, like I am so in love with this colour. I probably could have done with going a size down perhaps, it is a tiny bit baggy, but it's pretty good, like it's easy to move in. Um, and actually, surprisingly, when I put it on, it is a lot stretchier than I first thought. Like, me, I eat so much chocolate, honestly, I need that little bit of room to be able to go out, you know? Now, I already had that red shirt, and you can't have a shirt without having a matching number, and an equestrian haul would not be complete without a bit of Lemieux in there. Now, they have actually stopped doing these now. This is the Lemieux Coral Red. They've stopped producing them, so these are like limited edition now. Um, and it was such a struggle to get, I had to like beat off three other people to get this at Bolsworth. And it is so lovely, honestly. Like, there is just something about a clean, unused saddle pad that makes you go, wow. You know, do you know what I mean? I just, I'm in love. I'm in love. This piece that I'm going to show you is a Cavallino Merino polo shirt. As you can see, it's not being used yet. So it's still in its tags and everything. I bought this off eBay because good prices. You can't argue with that. It has got some lovely crystal buttons down the front. I think adding a bit of bling to your outfit always makes things fun. And I'm a bit of a bling queen, if I do say so myself. And the material feels lovely and soft and really light. So it's really good for summer. And I can't wait to get it on and see what thoughts are when it is actually on. So this is my Cavallino Merino eBay Buy polo shirt. And I actually really love this one as well because it's super stretchy for me that likes a little bit of McDonald's. Um, and also, if you look at this collar here, I am in love with the white because it really brings attention to these little crystals here. And bling is bling, hashtag fun times. Um, and I really like the difference in colour between the petrol blue or azure um, and the navy blue. It's just, it's really different and I think it draws the eye as well. It's really nice and you get a shot of the back. It's just a really nice t-shirt all round and I feel like it's really light so you're able to work hard in it, which is what we want. Next, I've got this lovely kind of blueberry purpley blue t-shirt um, and I've gone for the t-shirt rather than the polo shirt this time because quite often you're in one of those really difficult lessons where you're really working hard um, and the sun is just beating down and you feel like if you ever dare to wear one of those polo collars you will suffocate so I think this is just such a good idea so it's got quite a wide neck um, and then to match that for when you're wandering around you've got that awful hat hair nice little baseball cap there, eh? Me, yeah, I can be like pretty, be one of those wild kids. Um, and to go with that, for those days when the weather doesn't know whether it's coming or going, which in England is very easy, we've got this slightly heavier material-wise polo shirt, which I think will be just perfect because I am really, I'm gonna say it, in love with this colour. <laughs> So this is the Equitheme kind of blueberry t-shirt. I'm really in love with this. I adore this because it's just, I like the wide neck. You can also make it wider because there's the buttons here that you can undo, which I'm not going to do because I quite like this look more where it's just the complete semicircle. It's also really thin, but it's also not see-through because quite often if you get thin stuff, it's see-through and then there's just no good. Um, so, so it's thin and it's able, you're like able to work in it and not get too hot and sweaty, which is what we love because we're horse riders. We're gonna get hot and sweaty. It just comes with the territory. So I am in love with this. And to go with that on the hot days, I've got a nice little cap there. Pretty dashing if I do say so myself. And it works as a great fan in the hot weather. Now to part of that, I've also got the Equitheme polo shirt, which I can already tell will be for those in-between days between summer and winter, which could be at any time in the year because, like I've already said, it's England, it's a bit messed up weather-wise, but already it's a lot heavier in material, it's a lot thicker. Actually, it's a lot tighter as well. Um, I think I accidentally ordered the size smaller. But it still fits really well and I actually really like it and I like the cross on the back as well because I think that's quite different and quite nice. 
So I can't wait to wear this one as well. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I traveled to the Talon School of Equitation and I had a blast there. It was really amazing. But on the train there, I managed to lose my hat, which had my gloves in it. So whilst I was at Bolton International, I managed to get myself a new pair of gloves because I was left with my schooling gloves, which had got like ripped up and everything. So I think we all need a pair of nice gloves. And these were in the sale, only 10 pounds which is pretty good if I do say so myself. Um, and I just really love them because really light and breathable, so they're perfect for summer. Um, and in winter, I feel like they'll trap in the warm air as well. So I think it just really works both ways because you do not want your hands to get sweaty and overheated when you're trying to ride. It's just, it's not a nice feeling. So I've got it on this hand, you can see they're quite fitted. Like they're not chunky because I noticed that like with some gloves they can be really chunky and then I just feel like I can't wrap my hands around the rain. But I really feel like these are, are just perfect. Now a present that I also got is this Equestrian Stockholm Brass Numna. Now I have actually worn this one, I put it on Halen for one of the lessons, so it has properly been through the ringer. And as you can see, if we look on the inside, it is spick and span. So it cleans up really well, even after it's been through the wash. Um, you can see that just the little Equestrian Stockholm badge there, which I really like actually, because we took a picture and in the sun, it was just shining. Like Halen was hard pressed not to be outshone. And this will actually primarily be used for Ella because her real name's Golden Girl. And what would a Golden Girl be without her golden outfit? Now to go with that brass saddle pad are these gorgeous imperial riding riding boots. Now these are just stunning. I'm not normally a boot person, like I don't bandage my horse's legs, I don't put boots on my horses, but I just fell in love with these. If we look on the inside as well, it's really comfortable for the horse's leg once I've actually put my hand in there and it just seems like a really good support system for the leg. And it's, they're honestly, they're just really stunning and different. Like, how many bright gold boots have you seen on a horse's leg? Because I haven't seen many. They're just so different and cool. And finally, to top that outfit off is this awesome Equestrian Stockholm Brass Gilet. Now, this is really lovely. It's down, so it feels so nice to the touch. It's not real down, though. Don't worry. Um... And it's just, honestly, I just fell in love with it. I think it's so lovely. It just looks so elegant, you know? Like, you've got loads of bright colours and they're all so much fun. Like, I wear them all the time. But just having something that's so elegant and chic is just, ah, oh, it's amazing. And I really think, not only will it go with the brass saddle pad, but it'll also go with the Anki saddle pad, the one with the gold in it. Um because the gold will just set each other off. Like just because it says brass doesn't mean it won't go with the gold. Now, this is the Equestrian Stockholm Gilet and I have to say this is one of my favorites. Like this is so nice. I'm not too hot in it, so it's quite light and it's honestly, it's not tight or anything. So you're able to move quite easily. Get a bit of zumba in there. Um, the zips also work really well quite often with these, especially with the pockets, you'll find that the fabric catches when you're trying to open and close it and the pockets are actually, let's get that open, are really deep. So I've got a plus phone and it'll actually contain it really easily so I'll be able to ride and have my phone in my pocket, which is really important for things like hacking and stuff where you do need a way to be able to con contact someone, especially if you're going out by yourself. And I'm also, I love the back because I feel like the Equestrian Stockholm name, you can't really see it that well, which makes people want to look at it more. And then by the time they've figured out, is it, is it not, they've already been looking at you 10 minutes. So it's a really good way to subtly get people to pay attention to you. And the colour is just amazing. I've already said it could really go well with the Anki Numna. We get this up here quite nicely because it's just like gold on gold or it can go with the brass as well. So that is two outfits in one. So I have to say, I think this one's in for the win. So I've also got this lovely grey Chocomola saddle pad with the gold and cream trim. And I really love this. Now these are actually 50 pounds retail, like I saw one the other day, 
but I actually got this off for, drum roll please, a tenner off of Facebook. How fantastic is that? So it's clearly second hand, it's being used, but if we look on the inside, it is still spick and span, it is completely clean. So it's still lovely and ready to use, so you cannot turn your nose up at that. Now I know a lot of you are probably wondering, oh my god, why she got so many saddle pads? But don't forget, I do have three horses that need three sets of saddle pads each. And it's really warm weather, they've got fur, giant fur coats, so they're gonna get really sweaty, so I do need a clean one each every day. So I need to stock up, and trust me, I am. Now I actually have got something that isn't actually wearable. Now this is a little freebie I got from HY Grooming Kits. It's a lovely red grooming kit. I've already earmarked it for Halen. I brought it with him to his show yesterday. And it came with a set of brushes and a hoof pick. And honestly, it's amazing. It's full of different pockets. Like I had my spurs in this pocket the other day. It's got loads of pockets for like, I can fit in a bunch of potions and lotions and able to carry them everywhere. And I've actually used it as a cooling box. So like, I've had my sandwiches in there with the little ice block and it's worked really well. It's been such a great bag to have and the brushes are just stunning. Now that is all for me today. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've spent all of my money on because I completely maxed myself out now. I can't get anything for ages. Um, most of this stuff was bought on a budget, like different sales, online and presents. So if I can do it, you can too. So let's all get stylish together. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later. Goodbye.